Hi guys, Keith here from Big Tom and the Vaping Crew. How's it going? Been a while since I've done a video. Been in Scotland for uh, over a week. Um, I met Mark Todd from Todd Reviews and Sean Dumbleton up in uh, the Vapor Lounge in Dunfermline. Absolute pleasure to meet them. Nice guys. Um, but I've received some vape mail today. I received this from Fast Tech. Yes, Fast Tech, I know. Um, this is the Stingray X clone. Uh, but it's not an infinite one. It's made by a company called Kepler. It's the Kepler Stingray X clone. I've been using it most of the day. I actually, I have to say, I'm extremely impressed with it. Very impressed with it. Hits really well. It's got the plated silver uh, copper contacts. Um, it's got the hybrid system in it. It's got the top cap. Very, this is an 18500 mode. Very small and dinky. I've got the copper Mephisto on top. Uh, just got a quick vape before we go through and I'll, I'll take it apart and show you it in bits, take the switch apart and we'll show you it in different 18650, 18500 and 18350 mode. So we'll have a quick vape. I've got AIDS, uh, Let's Vape 1.2. I've got the pair drop in this and the Mephisto. Okay, so it's an 18500 mode. Very nice, very dinky. It's really nice, really nice. Lovely switch, really nice switch. It's a full magnetic switch in this Stingray X clone. Uh, I've had no issues, I know there was issues with the infinite uh, clone switch, but this switch, I've had no issues with it at all. It's not sticky, it's very smooth. The machining on it is absolutely fantastic. You can hardly see where the modular sections you know, with the screw in and join up together. All the engraving is CNC quality, absolutely brilliant. It's not laser etched, it's proper CNC engraving on this uh, Stingray X clone. Really nice, loving it. Anyway. That's very, very, that hits really well, really well. So what I'll do is we'll go through, I'll show you the box, show you what comes in the box, in a different mode, I'll compare it to a Nemesis and I'll also compare it to my Fortune 18350 mode which is the smallest mod I have because this little baby becomes extremely small in 18350 mode. Okay, so catch you later. See ya! Hey right, crew, here we go. Right, we've got the Stingray here from Kepler. This is a box, it actually comes in a lovely little white box. You can see on the side we've got www.kepler.hk uh, they have got a website, you can go on, I think they've got the Overdose clone, they've got the Stingray, uh, they've got the Maraxis, there's a few clones on their uh, website, but as, as I said, I purchased this from Fast Tech, and it was $25.70, which works out at £15 UK, okay, so this is a lovely box, a very nice box, okay, please. Let's open it up. I know a lot of my friends had bought the Infinite Stingray, but um, I sort of missed the boat on that. I saw this in Fast Tech and thought, oh, you know, £15 worth a shot. Right, in the box, what we have is we have the hybrid ring. We've got the chrome and stainless steel drip tip. And we have the mod itself. This is the Kepler Stingray X clone. As you can see, the machine quality on it is absolutely brilliant. You can hardly see the joins at all for where it, the modular pieces come off. So that's in 18650 mode. This is a Nemesis in 18650 mode. As you can see, there's quite a bit of difference in height between the two of them. And of course, in hybrid mode, be a lot shorter. A lot shorter. Take these two take these two modular sections off. And that's just down to 18350 mode. Very shiny copper inside. Very shiny. The threads on this 
clone are absolutely fantastic very smooth very smooth switch is nice and smooth as well we've got plated silver contacts pop this off let's have a look ah magnets there we go magnetic switch already fitted brilliant that's impressive this is switch is nice Switch is lovely. Very nice. Right. Put the switch back on. I've got my Fortune 18350 mode. Mod. Look at that. Very smooth. Very smooth. Right. I, mean, I suppose because of the switch, it's a, fr it's a fraction taller than the the copper, the, the brass fortune mod, just a fraction, because they're both hybrids, and this has got a magnetic switch. Yeah, that's lovely, let's pop it back to you. let's get a mod, oh dear, right, I've got my fish still here, nice copper one, let's pop this on. Right, so that's it in 18350 mode, probably better with a flat top rather than a button top battery. There's a little bit of gap at the bottom of the switch. Fire and lovely. Right, let's take this off. sections. Put the section on. Eighteen eighteen five hundred. Pop the hybrid adapter back on again. Fire and well. That looks lovely than Mephisto on it, doesn't it? Very nice. Boom. We've got a top cap. <laughs> Here we go. Pop the top cap on. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Look at that. That is lovely in 18500 mode. I do like that. Switches, fire and well. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Very nice. Lovely. Right, let's take it off again. And we'll put it into full 18650 board. There we go. Put a K fan on that thing. Let's pop the K fan on. K fan's on. We'll leave the drip tip on it. Okay. I've just popped the K fun onto the hybrid adapter. As you can see, this is an 18650 mode. Very smooth, absolutely smooth, lovely finish. It fires very well on 18650 uh, mode with the hybrid adapter on the K fun. Just 
Hits very well. Very well, that's nice. There we go. So that's the K fun in hybrid mode on the Stingray X. Right, the 510, I've just noticed that the 510 pin on the top cap is not adjustable. So I've had to adjust the K fun, but it's firing now. Firing fine now. That's nice. That's firing well. And of course with the magnets, <coughs> it's not firing when you put it down. That's nice. Like that. Yeah, so that is. Take that off. So here you have the Kepler. Stingray X clone from Fastec. Absolutely lovely. Fantastic. I do like that. Right, catch us all later. Okay guys, I hope you found that useful. Um, did have a few problems trying to get the K-Fun to fit in this properly and fire properly as the 510 pin is not adjustable. I had to adjust the 510 pin in the K-Fun light. But in hybrid mode, K fun's fine. I've not had an issue with it in the hybrid mode in the K fun. Um, and the switch, I mean, the throw is tiny. Absolutely tiny throw. my K Fun light I have Captain Oliver's uh, Admiral Cavendish's uh, banana custard which Mark Todd from Todd Fuse gave me last week. It's lovely, it's really nice. It's from vapemeat.ca in Canada. It's 15 Canadian dollars for a bottle but sadly the delivery is 20 dollars so I need to save this one up. It's one for special occasions I think, it's very nice. Uh, I much prefer this to Grant's. I've got the Grants as well, but this is a nicer custard, in my opinion, to uh, Grants. <coughs> For future reviews, just to let you know, just to make you aware, uh, so I received this from Fast Tech today. I also received from Fast Tech today this. Now this is to go with my Stingray. I will do a review on this, and this is my Copper Paradigm Magma Clone. RDA. So I will do a review on this. I've not washed it, I've not put it together yet, it's still in the box, or was still in the box, um, but the machine quality on this is absolutely sublime, absolutely, it's just beautiful. For an RDA, absolutely beautiful. So I'm looking forward to putting this together and doing a review for you. This was $15 from Fastec. Uh, and as I said before, the Stingray X clone from Fastec, which is made by uh, www.kepler.hk, was $25.70, which worked out at roughly £15. Now, I ordered this from Fastec exactly 14 days ago. 14 days. I missed, as I said, I missed the boat with the Infinite clone when everybody in your Kerner Vapes was selling it and Green Dog and they were all selling the Infinite clone and I missed the boat, it was sold out. So I thought, well, I'll just bide my time and I'll wait. It was on Fast Tech, ordered it, it's arrived. I am really, really pleased with it. I'm pleased I got this. It's a fantastic mod. And if you're looking out there, <coughs> go on to the www.kepler, K-E-P-L-E-R.hk site to have a look at it. You can buy it from Fast Tech. I'm sure there's other... Uh, suppliers will be supplying the Kepler clone as well so I hope you enjoyed that I'm going to do a review of the magma uh, from past day I've also been given two juices from Demon E juice I've got here Devon Dream and I have here Fizzy Lips so I will eventually get around to doing a review on them as well I'm posting that on the site and linking it to Big Tom and the Vaping Crew so, hope you enjoy that. Uh, I look forward to catching you all later. Sorry it's been a while since the last review, but I've been on holiday, I've been away. 
So I'll see you all soon, okay? Okay then, see ya!